This video is a full power league guide so you can go from bronze all the way to masters. Now this guide includes the recent balance changes that happened yesterday, but it does not include Hank and we will not be counting him. Just pretend he doesn't exist. He's always gonna be banned, forget about him. And so before we start, I'll explain a little bit how it works. For each map, I just have a group of brawlers categorized by their archetype being a mid or a lane. And then basically one of the best ballers or basically an early pick. And then you have one of the last picks. Sometimes the best bars are in mid range and range, which is, is basically the range. And then the last picks are aggro, which are more tanky and aggressive last picks. And squishy are, are like more weak brawlers that have less HP. And so now be sure to like and subscribe and let's hop in. So to start off, We'll go gem grab hard rock mine and so for hard rock mine especially in the mid you're gonna want to have a high hp brawler such so as 8-bit rt gene mag sometimes gus could work but all of them have above at least 4,000 hp because brawlers like piper and bell will just get melted too quickly and then the lanes you got penny janet roughs so those are the standard like best three lanes on the map so you can usually just ban all three of those because if the enemy team kind of gets first pick on those maps and they first picked one of those brawlers, it's pretty hard to beat them. And then there's obviously Ash, which is good into every single one of the five brawlers before it uh, on those lanes. So usually if you have first pick, you could probably just ban Ash. And then for the later picks, aggressive brawlers like Carl and Daryl, you wanna be careful with the, for those brawlers. And then the squishy brawlers are like Throwers and Rico, which if you kind of have, say, if you have a Penny and a Ruffs lane, and then you have a squishy mid, then they go Sprout or Grom and they kind of just stay behind walls and you can't really do anything. So next up we got Crystal Arcade. As you can see, there's like a million different good brawlers on Crystal Arcade. It's one of the most diverse maps, but for the mids, it's pretty similar to Hard Rock Mine. Essentially, Janet kind of turns into a mid on this map and B is also a good mid, but the other four are good mids for the same reason as Hard Rock Mine. The lanes are pretty similar too. I like Crow and Otis because the map's a little bit more open on the lane, so they kind of work as well. And then you also got the aggro lanes, like Stu and Ash, they can peek around the walls. Tara, I think is gonna be a good new addition with her buff. And then the last picks, you got the squishies again, and then you got the same aggro tanks. And you just wanna be careful. You wanna have a diverse amount. You wanna have like one squishy lane, one aggro lane, and then one of the good mids, just so you have a diverse comp. What I recommend to ban with first pick is you ban Ash once again. I think Ash is just such a dangerous pick, if especially if they have last pick. If you have second pick, I still recommend banning Penny. I think it's one of the best balls in the game, even after its balance changes. So yeah, it's gonna be still a very good pick, especially on this map. The last gem map, we got Gem Fort. Mid stay relatively similar. I think Poco's decently good here. It works really well into Max, especially. But Max did get nerfed quite hard, so Max is not as good, obviously but it still works into most of them. Besides Jesse, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend going Poco into Jesse. For the lanes, you got many brawlers. Some brawlers like to play the lanes, like the Ruffs, the Crow, and the Stew. They kind of play on the outside lane, and you have Ash, Ems, Tara, Shelly kind of staying in the middle, helping the mid out. So you kind of want to have a variety. You want to have like one brawler that can play in the mid, and then you can have one brawler that can play with the lane. And then for the last picks, you got all kinds of different last picks, but I recommend going more of an aggressive last pick. I really like Daryl last pick here, but you can also go B if they have tanks or Otis is good if they have tanks too. For what to ban, if you have first pick, I once again recommend to ban Ash or maybe Tara. I'm not sure how good Tara will be, but Tara could be really annoying on this map, especially as a last pick counter. So that could be good. And if you have last pick, I recommend banning Crow. I think Crow's really annoying here. The slows can get a lot of value and it's pretty hard to play mid, especially into a Crow. Bounty on Shooting Star. As you can see, we have Tick at the top. Just ban Tick. That's all I can say. If you know you're not getting Tick, just ban Tick. Tick is like above all. Above all. And then you have Throwers, which are above everything else. But Tick is above those Throwers. So that's that's usually how it works. And then the best brawlers, you got basically every single range bar in the game. I don't think any non-range brawlers on this list. Besides B, I think B is not very good anymore especially into these range balls, which will melt B and B just doesn't do enough into them. Then you got various aggro picks. Aggro last picks are definitely much better on this map because you know, the best balls are pretty squishy and they're very weak to aggro balls like Fang or Gray or Max. Or Barley and Penny are just really good last pick mids. Um, Willow, I guess could work too. And Brock's kind of just there. It's a good range ball. It's just not a good enough to be one of the earlier picks, but it could be a decent last pick. And as you can see, another commonality for the layer cake, once again, Tick, broken, 
ban the tick. That's all I can say. Either pick. Unless you are, unless you can guarantee you are playing tick, just ban the tick. It doesn't matter what pick you have, just ban it. And then after that, you got the throwers, Grom, Sprout, and Barley. I feel like Grom is better than both Sprout and Barley. And then I think Sprout and Barley are decently equal. So Grom's a little bit below tick, but a little bit above Sprout and Barley, but that's kind of it. And then you got the best brawls. You got Gene again, RT. Ash is really good here. So, you know, if you have first pick and you know you're going to get tick, then you could ban Ash. Or so you could pick tick too, because Ash is really good into tick. And then for their last picks, you got Shelly could be a good last pick, especially if they're playing a more tanky comp. Bonnie could be decent. Fang's pretty good. And then you got Squeak and Willow, which if every other thrower is banned, then those two will also be really good on the map. Our season, once again, we have the tick. Above all, ban tick. That's all I can say. And then for the range, once again, Gene and RT. Those are one of the best two range bars, I think, especially in Knockout and Bounty. And then Bell, Gus, and Brock. You're not gonna really find any Pipers or Nani's here because the walls kind of mess them up in the middle and the walls on the sides. And then I think the throwers are actually not that annoying here besides Tick. They're kind of equal and they're more of mid, I, I put them in the mid range too because they're about equal as the other mid range ballers. And you kind of want to combine a mid range baller with a thrower and with a range baller. Also got to be careful of last picks because, because every single last pick here is aggressive. Like Mortis is pretty good here, Leon, Carl, Bonnie. Thing like that's really gonna do throwers or anything squishy move on to knockout as you can see similar fashion we got flaring phoenix once again tick ban the tick that is all i can say and then the other throwers are also very very good on flaring phoenix the unbreakable walls are just very very good i think grom is slightly better than sprout and barley once again but they're all about equal I think on this map, I think Brock is pretty underrated here. And then he once again, you got Gene RT. I think the roughs is also really underrated here with the field promotion, I think it's called. And then for last picks, I actually like the Mr. P last pick. I feel it's really good into Gene. And if you're playing like Gene Ruffs, so a Gene Ruffs comp, uh, Mr. P's really good into that because they just can't deal with your penguins. And then also last pick aggressive. And Penny's also similar to what Mr. P does. And then for Goldar, once again, tick, ban the tick. And then Grom and Sprout. Grom and Sprout are 100% equal in this map. I feel like there's no difference. Either is good. Barley is not the same as Grom and Sprout. It just doesn't have the range to deal with any other brawlers, especially if the walls are broken. And then for the best brawlers, you got Gene and RT. Meta's pretty similar in Knockout and Bounty at the moment. And then Gray is actually a pretty sleeper pick here. It's really good into the throwers. It's also pretty good into Gene. And then you got the aggressive brawlers like Bonnie and Meg. Gus is pretty good with the shield. And Ruffs is also good for the same field promotion. And last picks, you got the aggressive last picks. I think Daryl is by far the best last pick on this map, but Fang's also pretty close behind. And Brock's pretty good if you want to counter the throwers without going a tank. And sometimes you can maybe get a good Barley game. I'm not exactly sure how good Max will be. It could be a decent last pick into any sort of comp, but I'm not sure as I'm not sure how good it would be now. It could be the worst ball in the game. You'll never know. And now for out in the open, we finally don't need to ban Tick. You could ban it if you want. I don't really recommend banning it. I think definitely ban Eve. I feel like Eve is very, very annoying on this map, but you know, you could ban Tick if you want. Um, I'd recommend banning Eve if you have last pick. And then if you have first pick, maybe ban like Fang, if you're scared of getting aggroed on. You could also ban Tick, because Tick's not really a first pick. It's more of a it's more of a good later kind of pick. And then you kind of want to combine a mid-range with a range. You can go like G Mag and then last pick a Grom or something. Kind of have a more well-rounded combo. You don't really want to go too range because then you're too squishy. And then you could get fanged on or Daryl on. And then you don't want to have too much mid-range because then you would get poked by all the range. Alright, so now for a brawl ball pinhole punt. It's no longer tick. It's now the crow. If you have second pick, ban the crow 100%. If you have first pick, you could get, you could either ban crow, or if you know you're getting crow, then you get the crow, obviously. But crow is just by far clearing ahead the best bro on the map by all means necessary. No doubt about it. It counters like every single brawler on this list, besides maybe like Spike, but that's kind of about it. And then for the best bars, you got Poco, M's, Ash. I like those bars really. Max used to be really good here, but it got nerfed. So I kind of just left it for a last pick because I feel like it's still going to be good, but just not the same. And then you kind of got Lola, which is pretty good into Poco, M's, Odious, Lou, which is also good into tanks. And then Gene's just good with the vision gear. And then you got the last picks. You got 
all kinds of last picks you can go whatever you want you can go aggro go the tanks go carl you could also go tara maybe there's a lot of squishy last picks you can go the throwers of the spike if you want to really abuse the walls into more of a non-aggro comp or you can go b if you're facing a lot of tanks penny's pretty good in the tanks as well and penny's just kind of decent into everything it's just a well-rounded last pick if you don't really know what to go because there's a lot of times where you're just not really going to know what to go and then penny will just work pretty well for field goal once again crow crow's good as a lane crow's the best mid by far and it's just it's too good it needs a nerf because every other good brawler got a nerf besides crow so crow is just miles ahead of everyone else barley's also really good here you could either ban crow or barley with second pick i recommend banning crow but if you know if crow's banned then you could probably just ban barley and then ash m's pretty similar this map's really similar to crystal arcade in terms of the lanes you want more aggressive lanes. And then in the mid, you want range like Lou, B, RT. You could also go Poco if you're trying to go a tank comp. Lola's pretty good. Gus is kind of a wild pick, but it could work sometimes. And then there's not too many last picks, actually. I feel like Dynamite is a really dangerous last pick. Same with Willow. Throwers are a pretty good last pick here. And then Mr. P and Squeak are kind of just bootleg throwers, so they work as well. And aggressive last picks, I kind of just threw in the Tara there. I like Primo last pick. If you're facing an Ash, you could definitely go Primo. Carl is pretty good into stuff like Spike and Barley, and same with Gray. Backyard Bowl, there's no more Crow. We got a well-rounded meta here on Backyard Bowl. You got the range, you got the mid-range. You wanna have like one mid-range, one range. It's usually how every single comp works. And the range got very many options. You can go for tank counters like B, Lou, RT. You can go more squishies like Gene and Gus. Lolo and Bell are pretty well-rounded. Then the mid-range Crow is really good. Definitely the best mid-range on this map. But brawlers like Penny and Ruffs are also really good. I feel like Max is pretty decent as well. Because it's Max is not really going to get banned anymore since it's not as good. But it's still going to be a good pick. And for the last picks, especially for the aggro, you got brawlers like Pam and Poco. Which are really good because you just can't really kill them. That's the issue. Because a lot of the brawlers on this map just can't do enough damage to kill like a Pam or a Poco or a Meg. And then the squishy last picks, you could go Sprout mainly. Because obviously you got the bootleg throws and Mr. P and Squeak, which are, if Sprout is banned, then those are the two brawlers you want to go into brawlers like Penny, Rough, Spike. If you face a comp like that, then you definitely want to go Mr. P or Squeak or Sprout. But if not, then you just want to go an aggressive brawler. So moving on to highest top potato, Barley is the new broken brawl on this map. The Unbreakable Walls just made Barley really, really good. And Dynamite's also a good pick just because it's does the similar things barley does but barley is just better and overall this is just a very small pool of brawlers because everything else just gets absolutely murked by these brawlers the brawlers like nita ems otis really good into tanks really good at doing damage just versatility on this map is very very key daryl's good daryl's just overall the best tank spike jesse dog those are also really good brawlers just as a mid as damage they can do whatever they want and then for last picks you don't really got many because it's just the best ball are just going to be picked most of the time. But Primo is a pretty good last pick. Shelly, if you want to counter tanks, Bull and Primo are kind of similar. Carl does the same thing. And then you got Squishy last picks. Grom's a pretty good last pick if you're facing like a someone pick Surge or something. And Surge is just not a good brawler. Grom will just absolutely own it. Or if you're facing a Spike or a Dog or something like that. Rico's basically the same because Rico can kind of play in that right pocket. And then Willow just does the same thing Grom does. And for what I'd ban, if I ban, five second pick, I ban Barley. Five first pick, I either ban Barley or get Barley. If I want to get Barley, I'd probably just ban Dynamite, because you ban Dynamite, you get Barley. It's just a free Barley game. It's pretty simple. Now for Gaboom Canyon, very small amount of brawlers. There is not that many. There's like 10 good brawlers, as you can see by the list. But it's more of like a mid range, range game. You kind of want to have a combo of these brawlers. You can like fit maybe like a Bell and then a Penny and then like a Daryl last pick that's pretty well-rounded comp now if i had first pick i'd just ban daryl daryl's a very annoying last pick it just does a lot of damage it's just a really good brawler and then if i had last pick i'd probably just ban eve eve's really annoying especially on the water safe zone essentially a very same meta to kaboom canyon but obviously you have mids and lanes now and so if i had first pick i'd just ban daryl once again i feel like daryl is just the same concept on kaboom it's just a counter to many of the meta brawlers and just does so much damage and if i had second pick I ban Grom. I think Grom is really, really good on this map. The amount of damage it does, all the walls, it's just very annoying to deal with the Grom. 
And so for safe zone, you got the right side with the water, which is basically the hard side because it's just harder to lane. Then on the left side, you got the easy lane essentially. And so if you want to have the, and so on the left side, you want to have a brawl like a penny to put the mortar down, a Colette to kind of reach the safe, a Brock to reach the safe, a Bonnie to reach the safe, stuff like that. And then for the right lane, you want to have a Grom maybe to play on the right side, a Eve to go on the water, a Colt's pretty good to break the wall and then just play on that lane. Something like that's really good. And then for the mids, you just got basically all kinds of good mids. You can go Ape for DPS, Bell for control, RC for control. Just you kind of want to pick your poison. I think damage mids are better like Ape and Lola, but you can go really whatever you want. And finally to end it off on Ring of Fire, we're back to the Crow meta. If you have second pick, just ban the Crow. It's pretty standard. If you have first pick, I'd recommend just banning Squeak. I find Squeak really annoying on this map, especially as if I'm trying to play like a Penny or I'm trying to play an Amber. Squeak's just really annoying and counters those. And then for the lanes in the mid, you just want to go two good lanes and one good mid. You can sometimes play Amber and another mid or brawlers like Stu and Amber and Penny can kind of play mid and lane with their utility like Barrel, Amber Gadget, Stu Turret, stuff like that. But you kind of want to just want to make sure you don't have at least like three mids. You want to have someone that can for sure play the lane at all times. And then there's not too many last picks. I feel like Ash and Squeak are definitely the most annoying last picks, but there's not that much you need to worry about. But sometimes you could also face like a Poco or a Pam last pick. Those could be really annoying or kind of in the later picks, like and with the fourth and the fifth pick of the draft, they could go Poco Pam and that would just be an insanely high health comp. And if you don't have like a Colette to go into it or a Lou to go into it, you could be pretty screwed. Now for split, back to the Barley meta. Barley just unbreakable walls made Barley absolutely absurd on split. Just absurd on a lot of maps, but split and hot potato are kind of the main ones. And then for the other good brawlers, you got Gray, you got Ruff, Stu, Griff, Penny, Lou. And that's kind of about it. After that, it's really like whatever kind of brawler you want to go. But those are definitely the best seven, six brawlers besides Barley. But Barley should never be in play on split. If you have second pick, ban the Barley. And if you have first pick, you could ban Gray to pick Barley. That's usually a good idea. Or you want to ban Ash or Primo or stuff like that. And then you obviously want to play slow Barley for the most part because someone's going to try and play a tank into your Barley. And for last picks, there's just so many last picks. There's not too many good balls in general, so it leaves a lot of good fifth picks, six picks, tanks, or squishy brawlers. And you can kind of combine like a Shelly and a Thrower fourth and fifth pick so they have to counter one of them set to pick their own poison that's usually a good strategy especially on split now for the last and final map we're gonna have parallel plays parallel as you can see very very balanced meta there's what seven brawlers in each tier there's basically 20 good brawlers which is pretty variety if you ask me and there's not really one overpowered brawler i think the top seven brawlers are very very equal in level they all equally have benefits and flaws but there's also a billion different last picks. There's like 14 last picks. You go aggro, buzz. I even like Buster here. I get pretty dangerous on the Buster sometimes. I think there might be the clip of me playing Buster in this. So watch out. Maybe you phase a Buster next time and you lose. And there's also Squishy Bar's last pick, like Barley, Penny, Squeak. Basically throwers, essentially all bootleg throwers and then just Lou to counter tanks. B could also be a pretty good last pick, but I feel like B is kind of falling out of the meta. And then there's also aggressive last picks, which you're mainly going to pick aggressive last picks because a lot of people like to pick stuff like Jesse, Spike, Barley pretty early, which I feel like they're not really supposed to go that early. And you can just go a tank to absolutely destroy them. That's it. Subscribe for free ELO.